this Indianapolis Colts team desperately needs some veteran presence in the wide receiver room. After Michael Pittman Jr., you have issues. Alec Pierce dropped quite a few passes yesterday from Matt Ryan. Ashton Doolin dropped another touchdown from Matt Ryan. And it's just like to a point where you need a veteran guy. You know, why not? Don't overthink this. Turn to a guy that has been there for the last 10 years for you. Turn to a guy who can do the little things right, can catch well, can run well. Not like he was, but way more technically sound than a lot of other these other wide receivers. They're way too young. They're way too young. Pierce just couldn't get it figured out. He dropped the ball quite a few times. Now, Campbell caught a few, didn't get a lot of reps, or didn't get open very often, just didn't make plays. He, he had one big first down, but he just didn't make plays. And Pierce, as I said earlier, he dropped a few, dropped a touchdown, would have brought the game up to, te- to 10-zip, and later on in the game, it was Ashton Doolin. Ashton Doolin, you just have to bring that to your body, man. You know, we were excited for both of these guys. Both of them disappointed big time in this game. We need a veteran wide receiver that can convert on those third downs. That can convert in the red zone. That can catch the ball in the red zone when they're open. That can consistently do the little things right and Matt Ryan can rely on. Because just Michael Pittman Jr., when you play a decent defense, when you play a decent defensive coordinator... They're going to stop it. They're not going to have an issue covering up one wide receiver, stacking the box, stopping JT. Damn, crickets, good, good shot. Up, oh, if you're in the live, you know, you you right now, the crickets are struggling. But, um, like, point is, they need a veteran wide receiver badly. That can do the little things right. T.Y. Hilton, turn to T.Y., bring T.Y. in. Just bring T.Y. home. Don't overthink it. Bring a guy in that's going to bring savvy leadership on the field. Reggie Wayne, Chris Ballard, that Reggie Wayne would be able to get it done. Shut up, Cricket. Shut up. Reggie Wayne just couldn't get it done. Reggie Wayne just, you know, it's not that he couldn't get it done. It's just that you need a veteran wide receiver. You need a receiver who's going to be on the field and seeing the field at the same time. Get it. Reggie Wayne was there at one point. One of the best to do it. He's very, very respected. But I've said this during the offseason. I think you ultimately need someone that could see the field at the same time and be in the field at the same time that they are. And T.Y. Hilton would convert in third downs. We saw so many times last year. T.Y. Hilton, you know, he didn't make big plays every game. But he made plays when you needed them the most. And the Colts are going to need that. These young wide receivers are not there. Mike Strong cut out two nice passes. Other than that, I mean, you need a veteran. You know, I don't know how many times how many times I have to say it, but that's gonna do it for this video because I'm just gonna keep repeating myself. But thank you for tuning in to the JW Sports Talk Show. Where fans welcome. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, um, put the post notification bell on, and this is JW signing off.